Hi, welcome to our Recast Software uh, Right Click Tools 4.3 launch video. I'm going to give a quick overview of some of the new features, including um, the system information tool that we've added a, a feature into. So I'm going to go ahead and get that one started. In 4.3, we released uh, the ability to leverage the fast channel. And uh, so in this demo, I'm actually leveraging the fast channel for this. So what that means is using the native configuration manager client notification channel, um, it will actually reach out over the internet and pull it back. Now this also means it could be on your local network as well. It doesn't have to be on the internet. It's just the demo is way cooler if the client is not even on your network. So using uh, the native functionality built into Configuration Manager, if you have a CMG, our content uh, client management gateway, it will uh, actually run uh, commands through that and pull the information back to your uh, recast right click tools. So here, uh, this is the new tab that has been added, the user sessions. Uh, this will show a list of the users that are currently logged on to the device. Um, this is handy if you've got several people logged onto the device, you can go and kick them out. Um, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but I've gotten incidents where I can't find a task sequence in Software Center, and it's just driving me crazy, and then I realize that there's several people actually logged onto the machine. Uh, a tech or someone uh, RDP'd in, and because there's multiple sessions, um, the task sequence doesn't show up in my Software Center. So this would be one way that you could uh, troubleshoot things. You can see who else is logged on and then force log someone off if you need to. Uh, and this is working all over the FAST channel. Some other things that were added here in 4.3 were the ability to right click in additional places. Um, so for instance, inside of here, we've got um, these new, when you drill down into different menus that are provided in the dashboards, uh, we can now right click and run actions on, on these devices as well. And there's quite a few different places that this has been added. Um, a lot of them were requests from our request site. Other things that we've added here in 4.3 are the content distribution monitor. Now this dashboard will uh, pull information from your distribution points and then it's going to give you an overall uh, summary of, of the content that's on them. It's going to show you how many are success and how many are error. Uh, you can then click on uh, the success and it will show you all the ones that are success. Or you can uh, click on the error ones and it will show you all the different content that's in error. Uh, we've got this little button here, uh, the redistribute failed content transfers. And that will go ahead and uh, anything that's failed on that particular DP that you have chosen we'll go ahead and try to uh, redistribute. Now, th there's also quite a bit of information over here that's uh, kind of handy to have in one place. So you can check the status. Um, you can see we've enabled Leadbat and HTTPS on these. Um, and this here, distribution point, for instance, is not internet facing. Whereas if I go and check out my CMG, you can see that it is internet facing. So there's uh, just quick status like that is quite helpful. And then you can uh, still take action on the different items down here as well. And we'll go into this more. Uh, so please uh, sign up for the webinar if you're interested in, in learning more about these features. Our engineers will be available for Q&A as, as they go through these new features that have been added. Uh, thank you very much.